Hey, all right, welcome to this next episode of uh, the HTML Bit series. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna look at the wire decal. Anyway, it's, sh it's short for declaration. So anyway, so the wire decal problem. So it's talking about wires. Wires are sort of like variables, but with continuous assignment. All right, so let's imagine we have the following circuit that looks rather complicated. Uh, and we want to write this circuit in Verilog. So let's just go through what we have in the circuit. So we have two OR gates. Each OR gate has two inputs. So the first input takes in A and B and outputs the OR of A and B. The second input takes in C and D and outputs the OR of that. Then we have an AND gate that takes the output of each OR gate and produces OUT1. And then we have an exclusive OR gate, XOR, which takes in the output of each of the OR gates and produces this output out, out too. So the measure we've got this, and then we want to write this in Veridog. All right, so we've got module AC foo, and then input A, input B, input C, input D, output out one and output out two, and module. We can actually um, abbreviate this. We can do input A, B, C, and D, and uh, output out one and out two. If we want to connect out one to A, B, C, D through these components, we could do assign out one equal A or B. So looking at this one, this is A or B. And then we also want, we also want C or D, which is this one. And then we're gonna and those together. And uh, we can do the same thing for out two except this time we're just gonna change this one to like this. All right, so this is correct. But the thing is, we're kind of repeating ourselves a lot. We've got the AB and the CD twice. So it'd be kind of nice to not have to repeat ourselves. So we can create a wire, which is a little bit like a variable in uh, programming, but with continuous assignment. So we can do wire or one, and wire or two. So we can do assign all one equal and then let's let's say this is this is all one, right? So we can say this output here. I mean we can make these names anything we want. So let's say that this the output of this or gate is called all one. And then the output of this or gate we're going to call it all two. I mean we could call it anything, right? So assign all one equal A or B we can do assign or two equals C or D, right? And then here, instead of doing A or B and C or and D, we can simply put out one equal all one and or two, and out two equal, I wrote all one, I meant, I wrote out, two, out one before, but I meant to write out one. Here we can just put all one, exclusive or, or two like this. It, in many situations, this can be a lot easier to read, to have like these intermediate uh, connections. So basically, rather than having to do the entire connectivity from the relevant inputs all the way through to out one, and then the same again for out two, we can have these like intermediate things which are called wires, which we declare here using wire. And then having declared it, you can assign to it. So we say, or one is uh, A or B, and then this is a continuous assignment. Right now, something that's interesting is, see in programming, you would have to do this before you can use it. But that's not the case in Verilog. In Verilog, we can actually do this, and it will work exactly the same because these are all continuous assignment, right? So here we're saying that the out one is creating by taking all one and anding it with all two. Now at this point, we haven't given anything to define how to get all one, but the all one and the all two are just like the, these wires basically. So we've, we're defining these connections here, and then we can do the same thing here, and then that will work. So let's just try that just to prove that. Like we're not gonna do the actual problem. So the actual problem is they've got ands and an or and a not. We're gonna do a different thing, but we're gonna look at the output, right? So let's say I do assign wire foo, and then foo equal a or b, that's with an assign. 
Yeah, and then assign out equal foo. So here, the output is going to be A or B, right? And yeah, so let's run that just to show, just to demonstrate that. So basically, if A or B is R1, then C will, then the output will be 1. So let's just check that. Of course, it will fail this simulation because it's incredible. Look, so uh, we're looking at output. So, we're, so here A is 1, and so it's 1. Here B is 1, so it's 1. And the only times when out is 0 is when both A and B are 0. All right, so this is working. Now, what if I do assign out equal foo, assign foo equal a or b. Now in programming that would not work. It, it, it would just, because the foo is undefined uh, in Verilog, because it's continuous assignment, works just fine. So the output is one when either a or b or one, and when a and b are both zero, then the output is zero. No syntax errors, runs perfectly, okay? So the order of these assigns does not matter in Verilog. You can put them in any order. So anyway, Going back to this problem, we can create these wires, which are like, it's sort of like variables in programming, except continuous assignment. So the, the only hard concept if you've done programming is the concept that it's continuous assignment. The order of these statements does not matter. Other than that, it works a lot like a variable. So you declare the wire, and then you can assign to the wire instead of directly assigning to the output port. So they work a little bit like an output port, except it's not actually an output of the module. All right, so you can assign to these wires just like you can assign to an output port. And you can also assign from an output port, by the way. So let's say I have, let's get rid of this wire. So if I do out equal A, I can do assign out N equal not out, okay? Oh, and also I can do this in any order, right? So I can use an output port as a wire. So I can do assign out n equal not out, and out is a, so therefore out n is going to be not a, right? So let's just execute that and just, all right, so out is equal to a, right? Whenever a is 1, out is 1. Whenever a is 0, out is 0. And then out n is the invert, the inverse of a. So whenever a is 1, out n is 1, is 0. So, so uh, basically, we can use output ports as drivers in our assignment statements, and we can also create wires which basically work like output ports, except that they're not an output of the module. Okay, but you can use these as drivers and you can use these as sinks. So I can assign to the foo, and I can assign, I mean, I can't assign the same value twice, right? But I can assign to the foo, so here foo is a sink, and I can assign foo to something else, so here foo is a driver. And these assignments can be in any order. All right, so that was quite a long background exposition. I think that's all the information you need in order to solve this problem. If I've missed something, then please let me know in the comments. So here's the task. You've got four inputs, A, B, C, T. Uh, instead of going to all gates, they're going to AND gates. Uh, then we're taking the output from each of these ands and we're ORing them together. Uh, the output of that goes to out and then we invert the other output and that goes to out n. And so use wires. I mean, you could write this out in full, like out equal a and b or c and d. But like the, here the idea is to practice using the wire, the wire declarations. So you're going to do a wire declaration for this wire, a wire declaration for this wire, and here you can just reuse this output port, right? So cool. All right, so let's put up the pause slide and then you can pause the video and then attempt the problem and then unpause the video uh, once you want to explore the solution together. So here's the pause slide and I'll see you on the other side of the pause. Cool, all right, so I assume that you've uh, attempted the problem or that you just want to see the solution. It's, either way is okay. Uh, so let's look into going through the solution to the problem. So we've got four inputs. We need to add together these, the A and B, add together the C and D. All right, so let's do that. 
So let's say we've got wire and one and two. And so we can do a sign and one equal A and B. And we can do and two equals C and D. All right. So this is and one, this is and two. And then we need to all those together and that gives us out. So let's do that. So assign out equal and one or and two. All right. So we've ordered them together to give it out. And then the out n is just the invert of out. So we can reuse this out on the right hand side of our assign. So we can simply do assign out n equal not out. Cool. All right, let's run that. Proof that that's correct. Cool, success. Yeah, I mean, a fairly long set of graphs. So it, it, unfortunately, these graphs don't show our intermediate variables, intermediate wires, unfortunately. Uh, they just show that everything is correct. Uh, sometimes when I'm debugging, I'll just connect out directly to some of the intermediate wires. Um, and then, of course, the problem will be marked incorrect but that lets me look at some of the intermediate values, intermediate wire values. Um, and then later, once all the intermediates are working, all the intermediate wires, then I wire those all up. I mean, I'll show you what I mean. If I wanted to see the value of and one, I can simply do assign out equal and one. All right, and then I submit that. Of course, it will be wrong, but I can check that the and one has the value that I would expect, which is A and B, right? And then I can do the same thing for like and two, et cetera. So here, uh, the out is one when A and B are both one. And um, otherwise it's zero, all right? So this is just a way of like debugging sometimes in some of these problems I use this. Don't need to, I didn't need to use that in this case, but it is a useful way of debugging, I find. I mean, for these particular problems, because we're doing everything on the website, we only see the output, right? Uh, let's do show solution. All right, so they've called it W1 and W2 for the wires. W1 equal A and B, W2 equal A and B, out equal W1 or W2, and out N equal not out. So there we go, same as what I had. Cool. If you've got any questions or things that weren't quite clear, please put into the comments like what your question is, what your concern is, what's not clear. Uh, you can also put like what your understanding is and how your understanding is not matching with like what is needed to solve the question or what I'm saying or anything like that. If you liked this video or found it useful, please click like, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.